Hello, this is Dr. Saurabh Patwadhan from Nandari Bhai Hospital and Peko Training Institute. And in this video, I'll be talking about uh, dish, do it somehow. So many times it is taken as a technique. So let's see how this dish looks like. So this is a case of white cataract, intumescent one. And a experienced surgeon is going to do Peko emulsification in this case. And side port is made and the anti capsule is stained with trypanium, which really helps in not just visualization of the capsule, but also it makes the capsule a little bit thicker and easier to maneuver. Methyl cellulose injected after washing out the trypanium. Making side port is a very good idea because the surgeon will be doing all maneuvers to small incision. And if you see the video is defocused, so these are some tips for you to focus it better that microscope and camera should be focused in same plane. Surgeon's refractive error should be corrected with glasses. And also if the surgeon is accommodating, many times there is a defocus on the video. So surgeon should relax so that the video is also well focused. Now the surgeon starts with the 26 gauge needle made into a cystitome. As the first puncture is made, you can see there is egress of some fluid, whitish fluid from the new, uh, the lens, so indicating there is some intumescence there. Well, the surgeon starts off, and already the surgeon has, uh, you know, left the central 5.5 millimeter circle. So now the surgeon is trading into a dangerous area. The zonules are quite nearby and luckily so far the CCC has not extended. The surgeon now aspirated the air bubble which was obstructing the view which is good and the uh, surgeon continues to trade on this path. Now this is a good way to fill the viscoelastic going beyond and pushing some fluid. This will flatten the anterior capsule. Don't push the uh, viscoelastic at the incision to start with. So again, the surgeon starts and of course the surgeon is walking on a tight rope here because the rexis margin is already in the area of zonules. So we are at the mercy of these anatomical structures here. Zonules, how they are pulling this margin away. How is the intumescence in this area? Are there any fluid pockets? So let's see what happens next. So already we have goosebumps. What is going to happen next? But fortunately here, the surgeon could bring the rexis in here in the sub incisional area, which is the toughest to maneuver. Very steady hands, as you can see from an experienced surgeon. No trimmer, no hesitation in the maneuvers, which are extremely good points. And you can see the margin has come back to where it should be. And the surgeon is relieved a bit, but only for a moment because the margin hits a fluid pocket, intumescent fluid pocket and uh, well, the rexis tries to run away again. Surgeon realizes this and again fills the anterior chamber with methyl cellulose. This is again good way to fill the anterior chamber going beyond the rexis margin and then pushing the visco elastic so as to flatten the capsule. And uh, surgeon tries to pull it back, also tries to do or momentarily think of doing little's manure here, but uh, I think decides to do some other technique. So what is surgeon thinking? So surgeon decides to make the main incision here. The main incision is made and uh, the surgeon might be thinking of using a forceps here to bring that in, which is a good way of thinking because the forceps have better control over the pull, particularly in such situations. And the manure which should be tried here is a quick pull or 
pull the capsule access margin centrally as quickly as possible and uh, this is a micro capsule axis forceps and you can see that luckily the capsule axis comes back and yeah it's a party time because we have achieved a good though a bit large capsule axis and yes we did it somehow But that's not the way to do it because the technique we should be using should be repeatable and reliable. That's why I recommend all of you to watch this video step by step guide for intubation cataract. I will also post a link or you can do a two stage axis like this other video. I will be posting the link of this. So don't do it somehow because you will always have failures if you try to do it somehow. So acquire the know-how and achieve the results repeatably and reliably. Thank you.